practices to improve performance of your application. Usually, Flutter applications are performant by default, so you only need to avoid common mistakes to get great performance. One of those mistakes is a very large build function. Instead of having one big widget, you have to split it into many small widgets. Avoid expensive work. Avoid of repetitive and costly work in build method. As build method can be called frequently when ancestor widgets are rebuilt, a costly build method will consume more CPU power than needed. Use the opacity widget only when necessary, especially during the animation. As we see the animation works, however, animating opacity widget directly causes the widget to rebuild each frame, which is not very efficient. Use lazy lists and lazy grids whenever needed. This will only create those elements that are currently seen on the screen. Everybody knows that Flutter is powerful enough to run our apps without mistakes, but it is always good to follow good practices and optimize our app as much as possible.